Venous disease is very common cause of leg pain. It's really underestimated. Even doctors uh, tend to miss uh, how frequent venous disease as a cause for uh, pain in the legs. So veins bring the blood back to the heart. Those veins are uh, what you see on the skin. You don't see arteries, you see veins. Sometimes you see them as varicose veins, which is very abnormal, which tells you that they are under pressure from a condition called venous insufficiency. So let me explain that. The veins bring the blood back to the heart against gravity. To do that, they need valves inside them to support blood flow upward toward the heart against gravity. Sometimes the valves go bad. Why do they go bad? Well, family history is the most common reason for it. Genetically, some of us are not lucky enough to have strong valves and they degenerate or become weak and they leak. Second reason will be pregnancy. A woman who have multiple pregnancies, especially more than three, could have more chances for uh, venous insufficiency and leaky veins. So, in any way, the blood that is going up to the heart starts to leak through those valves and spill over to superficial veins. Those veins become under pressure and they become like balloons. They start to expand and you can see them on skin tortuous like snakes. So that creates pressure on the skin and the nerves around them and cause a lot of discomfort, especially with standing or sitting or long travel. Usually it does not happen much when we lay down flat because then the gravity helps the blood flow upward toward the heart and ease off the pressure. Also using compression stockings help this uh, problem by easing the pressure off the veins and I recommend those stockings to be used daily from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. It's a hard thing to do. I get a lot of complaints about it. Patients cannot be compliant with it every day because they are high pressure uh, stockings. But they are very beneficial if could be used. The other thing is if we cannot use those stockings forever and the pain continues in spite of using stockings, we can do procedures to really close those bad veins including radiofrequency ablation, including laser, including injection with sclerotherapy, or even taking the vein out in the office with a procedure called microphlebectomy, which is microsurgery to remove the veins under local anesthesia. All those procedures are minimally invasive, done in the office, under local, there's no downtime, the patient walks in and walks out. Obviously, every patient will need ultrasound before we do the procedure, and also afterward to make sure that we did a good job. Other issues could happen with veins that is not necessarily varicose veins. We call it venous compression syndrome. This is a unusual situation where also uh, the vein get compressed rather than closed, but it's compressed by an artery and a bone around it. And that causes lack of blood flow upward to the heart and back off of blood and congestion with swelling and pain. We treat those by going inside the vein, we'll put a camera to diagnose a problem, camera has ultrasound, and once we diagnose it, we put a stent to open the vein and keep it open. That condition could resolve easily just by simple procedure like this. Third issue with veins could be clot in the veins. Now this usually is more acute, we call it acute deep vein thrombosis or DVT. The leg gets swollen and painful. Usually it's one leg, not both. So if that happens to you, you should see your doctor immediately or go to the ER because this clot could go to the lung and give you a big problem. So those cases where you see sudden swelling with pain in the leg, this is highly suggestive of acute thrombosis or clot. And that requires immediate blood thinners, rest, and some other evaluation that could be necessary like putting a stent in the vein that is blocked.